dual sticks as you hi guys welcome to another pk tv production so i'm actually going to be showing you guys how to transfer your iphone 11 pro max or iphone 11 pro uh into from your old phone say from your iphone 10 or iphone 7 or iphone 8 or any one of those phones using the transfer barcode method that you would use say with that apple watch so i'm gonna put you through all the steps in this video and get you through the entire process so leave you to it All right, the first thing we need is an iPhone 11 Pro Max. This is a silver model at 512 gigabytes. Now we need to unbox this and we'll get it all set up so we can actually go and do the transfer. Right, now we just need to quickly set it up, set up region and everything like that, and we can now get on with the transfer. All right, the first thing we need to make sure is that our iPhone is actually nearby. This is an iPhone XS uh, Max, and we just need to make sure it's nearby so we can actually perform the barcode transfer. All right, once you're set up, you'll see this on your phone that you want to transfer. Once you do that, you hover over the little mysterious little barcode and it will start its process and then you put your code of your other phone in to activate it and it will start setting up the phone once activated it will ask for facial recognition and then you're all set to transfer now you're presented with two options. You've got transfer from iPhone and also download from iCloud. So we're going to be transferring from the iPhone because we got our older iPhone right next to it. Uh, so you want to tap on that so we can then uh, go through the, the entire transfer. So agree to the terms and conditions and then move through the prompts. Okay, depending on when you got this, it may actually ask for an update first before you can actually proceed. So just do the update and it'll get you through to the next step. All right, during the software update, you'll notice on your older phone in the iPhone XS Plus, you'll notice it'll actually say finishing, uh, finish up on new phone. So you need to pretty much look at the new phone for all your other tasks for the complete restore all right just let it go through its final stages of the actual software update and when it's done it'll say waiting for software update on your old phone and it'll be pretty much complete as you can see right here put in passcode and it will now be preparing to transfer all the files from your old phone to your new iphone 11 pro or pro max all right, this may actually take a long time, so just grab yourself a cup of coffee and relax until it finishes up. Right, and finally, it's going to start off the actual transferring of the data. So this is the part that will take forever, depending on the data that you actually have. So sit back and just wait till it transfers all your data all right this process actually took way too long that i actually got my nintendo switch out and started playing it so it is going to take you a couple of hours to get this process done Finally, when the process is complete, you'll see a transfer complete on your old phone. You'll still see transferring data on your new iPhone 11 Plus, but it will actually still get that completed, but you won't need your old phone anymore because it's pretty much all completed. So just let it finish up on the iPhone 11 and then we should be ready to go to the next step. Once 
once the data is completed, it'll do a reboot, the iPhone 11 Plus or Pro Max, and it will actually go and install whatever it needs to install, and then you should be presented with the actual home screen. And that's pretty much the transfer complete. So you just need to put in your Apple ID, set up all any additional programs and applications, and you're done. And that is pretty much the entire process. So next thing to do is to unlock your phone, set up all your, let it all download, all the applications that you need, and you're pretty much done. That's the end of it. So see you all later. Cheers. Yeah.